let's take a look at creating a stock adjustment. To get there, click Inventory, Transactions, and Stock Adjustments. On the screen, we can filter our view of our parked, completed, deleted, and all adjustments, and also filter further by a reason and warehouse. But let's focus on adding an adjustment. First, we need to select our warehouse that the adjustment is taking place at and the reason for it. You can set these up under Settings, System, and Adjustment Reasons. When you have an accounting provider enabled, this account field becomes available and can be used in a journal that is sent to your accounting provider. For example, a wastage account. Enter the product, quantity and value you are adjusting by. If you want to remove stock in hand, in the quantity and value field, add in a negative quantity. We can also amend the overall stock in hand value of a product here. This is referred to as a value only stock adjustment. To change just the stock value of the inventory, the quantity will need to be zero in the stock adjustment. Then specify the value you want to add or subtract. Please note that this does not amend the per unit price of the product. Take a moment to check the adjustments themselves to ensure they're correct and note how it impacts the warehouse you have selected and overall global values. When you're ready, complete the adjustment. 